Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just thought we could do a simple get ready with me video um, since I haven't really posted in a while. This is gonna be a little bit embarrassing because you're gonna see how many steps actually go into my makeup routine and it's pretty embarrassing. So first I am moisturizing with the Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. Um, Nikki Tutorials sweared by this a while ago and I just really like it for a moisturizer so I like to use it. We are going full with every step today so I am going to be taking some bio oil and putting that all over my face too. Um, during the winter my skin can get really dry so I like to really heavily moisturize before putting foundation on. Um, it just makes my skin feel better, and I think it makes my skin look better too, so to each their own. So I feel like I never really talk about my personal life on here, um, just because I don't really have much to say about it normally. I thought with the new year it would be a good time to kind of start telling you guys a little bit more about myself. Um, Another step I've been adding since I've been getting more tan recently and my foundation doesn't match my face yet, I've been taking some of this Hard Candy Glow All The Way, it's like a liquid bronzer. Um, so I take a little bit of that um, all over my face before my foundation too. And I find that it just like mixes really well with the foundation. Um, so I'll take some of that. And it's like really dark, so, but I like to just put it all over and it gives just a nice glow before the foundation. So I don't know about y'all, but 2017 was kind of a shitty year. <laughs> um, I thought it was gonna be one of the better years of my life, um, just cause everything was kind of coming together. Um, I, I had been with my boyfriend, um, for about like six and a half years and our anniversary, our seven year anniversary was gonna be in November. Um, and he was graduating from college and he was gonna move back home. And so all that was coming together. And I was like finally applying to the school program that I wanted um, to go into. Um, so it was like finally just starting my life. Um, and that was really exciting to me. Um, However, <laughs> here, here, here it comes, the, the shitty part about life is that nothing really ever works out the way you expect and or want. So in August, I got dumped by that boyfriend. Um, and in hindsight, like, it really just was not a good relationship anyways. Um, so it's all great now, but at the time, you know, it's pretty devastating, especially when you're with someone for so long, it's just, it's hard to take and you expected to spend forever with this person. Uh, so that was pretty hard. Um, so that kind of absorbed most of my, uh, attention late last year. And you know, it was also hard because I had been with this person since I was 16 years old. So today's like dating game, give me a second here. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. I wouldn't know how to normally date people. Um, dating in today's day and age is a whole other realm. Like with just the technology that's out there. So. It's been a little bit crazy for me just dealing with people. <laughs> uh, not what I expected at all. Um, and so that made it a little extra hard on me and it made it super stressful for me just even thinking about dating another person. And then the way people act nowadays is just people are shady. <laughs> Maybe I'm talking to the wrong people, but a lot of people are shady. So I thought after that breakup that I could just like throw myself into work and school and that's why I didn't post as much either. I was just trying to 
go with my life plan because even though he wasn't in my plan anymore, like I could still get it done, you know? Um, so I applied to my school and I got an interview and that's all well and good, but I just got my rejection letter. So I am a like, complete failure in life right now and it's pretty depressing. So I was getting myself all hyped up thinking that uh, this year, 2018 was going to be my year, but it's already up to a shit start. But maybe that's just like 2017 keeping its claws in me a little bit. I don't know. So without my long-term boyfriend and without my life plan working out according to plan, uh, time to sit back and reevaluate things. Um, which, you know, beginning of the year is a good time to do that, I suppose, but just not what I wanted to be doing. So other than that, I've been, hello text message. Other than that, I've been like just trying to get through school. Um, I'm just taking a couple of classes right now. Um, and then hopefully going to reapply to that same program next year, um, give it one last go. I don't know, live and learn and go down all kinds of different roads and you just never know where life's gonna take you and a whole lot of stuff. Like I feel like some people, it'll work out um, as expected for a lot of people, but I think for the vast majority of people, nothing ever really goes according to what we think we want, and it will ultimately lead to something we do want, not what we think we want and need in life. So, I don't know, maybe some cheesy advice, but if you're going through some hard stuff too, I am with you. We are in it together. Everyone on this freaking planet is struggling with something so like that might be a depressing thought to some but it's also kind of comforting knowing you are not alone in the struggle we are all struggling but yeah whenever I think about my breakup um, a lot of good did come from it uh, surprisingly um, I was just kind of I wouldn't say I was staying with him for convenience but um, I just didn't know what else was out there, what else was possible, and now knowing what I know about other people, man, were we, <laughs> we were so wrong for each other. He was just a very strange, unromantic person, um, which is fine if you're also an unromantic person, I suppose, but I feel like the most people are romantics or they at least like to spend time with a person or text them. <laughs> I also was able to reconnect with some friends of mine who I hadn't spoken to in like years. I got a whole lot closer with my family so ultimately it it led to a lot of good and so I'm hoping that with this um, school thing, me not getting into school right away or now or ever, um, <laughs> that it'll ultimately just lead me to where I'm supposed to be because the breakup seemed to do a good job of that and leading me to good things so I'm hoping that yet another rejection will lead me to something better. I have no idea what to do with this look because I kind of wanted to like match it to like this shirt I have. It's like a, whoops, it's like a snake kind of thing. For highlighter, I am going into this Coco collection by Kylie Cosmetics, and I'm going into the lighter shade there. I think it's Beverly Hills. Um, and just putting that on the high points. Y'all know how to do highlighter at this point. I don't need to tell ya. <laughs> I know like with YouTube's new shit going on. Um, well, like I, I was being monetized just fine, but now with their new standard, I, I think I'm going to be cut out of that because um, I think it's a thousand subscribers and then some amount of watch time, um, which I don't have either of those things, but I haven't gotten an email or anything like some people have been getting, but I'm pretty sure I will be cut out of the partner program. Um, when I first started YouTube, um, I was able to get approved for monetization right away, 
Um, and then they changed it, I want to say like a few months after I posted my first video, um, to where you had to have 10,000 lifetime views um, to be part of the program. And that was a little bit discouraging because I didn't have that many views at the time. It took me a long while to get to 10,000 views and get approved again, and that was only very recently. Um, I want to say a few months ago um, when I finally reached that threshold and got approved again. And now <laughs> right after I got approved for that, they changed it again. And I feel like I've already been approved and removed from the program twice. Um, or this will be the second time I'm removed. But I've already been approved twice, so I feel like if you've been approved, you should <laughs> you should be allowed to stay just because it's just gonna be another threshold and then another approval eventually and then if I ever even reach that are they gonna change it again so it's like kind of annoying um, very tedious but it, it does suck because a friend of mine also makes uh, YouTube videos he makes um, I think it's like guitar tutorials um, and he, he was hit by it as well and he uploads way more often than me and puts in way more work to his videos than I do. Um, and he got hit as well. So it does suck that like the little guys are kind of getting hit the most with it. So I'm pretty sure I'm kicked out, but like I said, I haven't even received an email, so who knows? I can't even keep track of what YouTube's doing anymore. It's a complete shit show. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys have anything in particular you like on my channel or anything you would like me to try, um, go ahead and let me know um, in the comment section. I do read every comment because I don't get a lot of comments. Um, so it makes it easy for me to read all of them and respond to all of them. Are you guys like ever doing your makeup and you realize no matter what you do, it's gonna look like shit? I'm there. So the main reason I wanted to film today is because I got this um, Rainforest of the Sea um, finger paint shadow palette. Um, looks like that. Wow, that is really reflective. I apologize. Um, looks a little something like that, and they're like really highly pigmented, shimmery, wet, creamy shadows. Um, and then these two are like straight glitter. They look killer and they look really pigmented and it's something different than the like powdered eyeshadow. So I bought it and I have a text message and I am just really excited to try it out. So I was thinking I would do one of the glitters today. Ooh. All right, so what I think I will do is set this whole area with some white eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna do the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer China White. So I think what I'm going to do is go into this silvery um, glitter and put that all over the lid. So I'm not going to use a brush for that. I'm gonna use one of these little eyeshadow thingies um, just cause I feel like the brush won't pick up the glitter as well. Ooh, hello. That worked much better than the brush when I tried it the other day. Um, if I go into my Kylie uh, Cosmetics Purple Palette, that I think it's called Blueberry. It's like a gray. <laughs> this is probably gonna be a long video. Hope you guys don't mind. Gotta get that watch time up, you know? <laughs> One reason I don't like to do these get ready with me videos is because normally when I get ready, I'm like jamming to some music. So this is a little bit different for me. It's a little bit boring for me. <laughs> Trying to come up with shit to say. I'm going to do this Kat Von D ink liner. It's like a pen liner. It's waterproof. Um, I just bought it, so we'll see how it does. This is like a whole lot of new stuff. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes on. I couldn't even tell you what type these are, I'm just gonna put them on my eyes. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with lips, so I'm just gonna end it here I think and leave them bare. Um, 
I think I'll just leave them bare anyway. Uh, <laughs> but real quick to set the look, I'm going to set it with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist. Never used this either, so it's just a day of firsts. All right, y'all, that completes this eye look. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. And yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe. I make new videos. I'm going to start making them every week, I promise. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you today. That's all I have for you today, guys. So I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.